Whoopsie. So guys, today I thought I would address a few things regarding passive income. So first of all, what is passive income? Passive income is sort of as the title or name suggests, passive. Uh, that means it just kind of runs in the background. There's not much work that is involved. Um, so that's kind of the consensus. That's kind of the thinking around passive income. It's something where like you could be on a beach in Bali and like your bank account is being filled up um, or you could be sleeping and you know like make money while you sleep like you could be sleeping and then you wake up and you've made money basically anything where there isn't a direct exchange um, time for money you know where there's no direct correlation between the, the the time you put in and the money you get out you know say you're working some dead-end job you get ten dollars an hour um, say you're working as a consultant you get $200 an hour, whatever it may be, that is not passive income because if you stop working, it stops giving, you know? Um, and that is, uh, that's sort of just the main consensus, that's the main thinking around passive income in of itself. So, why is it becoming so popular? Um, well, guys, think about it. What is passive income in of itself insinuating? You don't have to do shit. And what is always popular? Not having to do shit and getting abnormal results. You know, do this and get a six pack in fucking three minutes. Like, who believes this shit? Okay, um, get do this, get a six pack in three minutes. Uh, this one simple trick will um, will make you rich. Like any any sort of simple solution or simple answer, people are always seeking that out. People always want things easy. If they're just just in the moment right now, and that's why sort of passive income is just. It's like a godsend, you know, because it's it literally insinuates like, dude, you get you get this, like you put this in place and then you just you never work again and your stripe is just constantly blowing up and whatnot. Um, so that's sort of why uh, passive income is becoming so popular. I mean, passive income in of itself, it's an amazing thing. Um, it, it's becoming popular for, as I said, one of two reasons, because like the people who actually know how to create it, well, they're living a fucking awesome lifestyle. I know because I have passive income because I can travel whenever I want to travel. I can live the sort of life that I want to live on my terms. I literally just had the most unproductive weekend of my life. Um, I don't actually like to be unproductive. Uh, funnily enough, like me personally, I, I like to work. Um, it, like my friends, I have to promise my, I've had to promise my mom, uh, my business partner, my girlfriend, like I've had to promise everyone like that I'll take a day off. Because I genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, I just enjoy work. But nonetheless, I had a, I, I didn't do shit this weekend. Still made money. I always make money. I woke up this morning. I made money. Um, so passive income for the people that actually know how to do it right, um, it's it's a godsend. That means you know it's created all these like digital nomads where like you know you can travel anywhere in the world, run your business from your computer. Um, so it's amazing. So the people that are actually doing it and creating that for themselves, well they're actually winning and they're having a lot of fun but the people but on the flip side there's this whole dark side where you know like people are making promises of it um in order to sort of like prey on the weak as terrible as that sounds um so that's kind of like why passive income is becoming so popular these days so what i want to do right now is i want to go over some of the common myths about it and then at the end sort of present to you is passive income even real or is it just some facade that you're constantly going to be chasing? So the first myth about passive income is that it is passive in of itself, um, that you don't do any work for it. No, let me explain to you what passive income is. Passive income is near enough killing yourself to create systems and put systems in place that then you bear, you know, you, you bear the rewards of, you reap the rewards going forward the next months, years, whatever it may be. You know, look at something like an online business. It takes you, you know, I literally know someone who who spends probably three to six months, anywhere from three to six months to work on an affiliate funnel. Um, and then for six months, he just doesn't work at like at all, at all. But like that is straight passive income. But for those three to six months, he fucking nearly kills himself to put that funnel in place. Um, you know, someone like me, I've put in so many systems in place with, for example, with my marketing agency so that at this point I make all the big decisions, but everything else is automated, you know, and like 
pretty much after the first five to seven days of the month, there's not much work that is involved because I've put in all these systems. Because when a client comes in, he follows he follows the system. He she follows the exact system that I've spent so fucking long curating. Like the system gets results, right? Otherwise, I don't take on the client. The system gets results. I have people who work for me who then do all the shit that I don't want to do. The stuff that doesn't involve, you know, the, like a anyone can do it. The, the distribution of content, um, you know, social media captions, you know, I, I don't want to be writing my clients captions. I want to be planning their, you know, planning their email marketing campaigns. I want to be planning their Facebook ads. I literally just got a text from um, a company called Furo Systems that I now have a percentage in, I have a percentage in the total Indigo campaign. We're doing a three, roughly 21 day campaign. And um, you know, that campaign is gonna do probably anywhere from quarter of a million to a million dollars and I get a percentage of that. My point is, at this point, like, you know, automization, that is pretty much what passive income is about. It's about building systems that then bear the fruit going forward. You know, and at first you start off and it's really fucking unorganized. Um, say for example, with your, with my personal brand, recently you guys saw a video where in a day I knock out my entire personal brand, all of the content output in one day. Now, obviously I'm still super active. Everything you, you're seeing is coming straight from me. There's no one behind this camera right now. It's just you and me here. Um, but in fact, you're watching this on a day where I'm knocking out my entire day's content uh, because I put those systems in place and that kind of provides passive income. But my point here is passive income isn't really passive. It's about building systems that then bear, you know, you bear, you reap the rewards of that moving forward the next months, years. Passive income is systems building and automizing. That's, that's literally all it is. So to give you guys some examples, say something like, you know, my personal brand, um, you know, people literally watch me like nearly kill myself to create the course that I did and go into that level of detail and that level of value. Um, you know, that was so much fucking work, but now it's passive income. You know, I wake up, I get Stripe payments on my phone of people who have bought the course. You know, I, I make a thousand dollars. Last week, I remember I made $4,000 in one day from course sales. Um, you know, for some people that's tiny for me, I was happy about that. Um, you know, and that's passive income. You know, I, I really remember I was having dinner with a friend in the space of 30 minutes. Uh, on that day, I got two, uh, two people who signed up $2,000 over dinner. Um, dinner was on me. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, th that is sort of what passive income is. It's literally just systems building automization. The next sort of uh, myth about uh, passive income is that you do it once and then it's this thing that is just this cash cow that keeps going on and on and on and on. No, passive income is more passive than time for money, but it still takes active maintenance. Uh, you go look at someone like, for example, someone who has a, a funnel for a digital product. Uh, it, you still have to tweak the funnel. Facebook still makes changes um, to, to, to its platform, you know. Instagram changes its algorithm. Um, you know, your email provider fucks up. You know, you get, uh, rather than, uh, you get uh, blacklisted, you go from a gray list to a blacklist on your email. Um, like what it, whatever it is, um, you know, ad costs go up so the funnel is no longer profitable. Like it takes active maintenance, guys. And the same way that my marketing agency, I've automized it quite a lot, but it still takes a lot of active maintenance. The, this, uh, my personal brand, you know, it still takes active maintenance. My, right now, 90% of my um, sort of my leads and my sales for Influencer Igniter, for my digital products, for my coaching, they come from my personal brand and I have to actively maintain my personal brand. I have to constantly make sure that I'm providing you guys with shit tons of value so that you go, okay, shit, if this guy's providing this much amount, this, this amount of value for free, like I don't even want to start to think about what the paid stuff looks like. Um, it's good by the way. Um, so it takes active maintenance in the same way that I told you, my friends, he spends roughly three to six months working on one affiliate funnel. And then that funnel basically means for the other half a year, he can just go to Bali, uh, and just literally chill. But the next year he's back the first three to six months of the year, he's back to creating funnels, uh, and, and actively maintaining it and tweaking it and whatnot. Uh, in the same way that as someone does Amazon FBA, you know, amazing, amazing financial vehicle. But at the end of the day, products run out. You have to talk to your uh, distributor again. You have to talk to your supplier again. Uh, you know, you, you products lose ranking. You have to start doing some more market research. If you're doing drop shipping, sometimes some products aren't as profitable. Sometimes you have to change your Facebook ads. Like it takes a lot of active maintenance guys. Um, so, you know, really the way it goes is like you put in 90% 
at, at this beginning stage and then you you know for however long you can kind of chill and then uh, uh, in between you actually have to maintain it and there's these spikes where like things have to be changed and whatnot but don't think that passive income is something where you just uh you know you you put it in place once and then for the next 10 years you can just sit on your ass in fucking hawaii and uh, every night you check your stripe and there's just more and more money that keeps coming in guys it takes active maintenance the last the last myth is that you know passive income is easy guys it's not easy at all i would say i've actually been very blessed that you know if from this year my my first month this year i made a thousand dollars right and then to get to where i am now to get to where i am now obviously i, I think i did an income report last month uh to get to where i am now so you know, you need to understand that like passive income is not easy. I know people who have spent three, five, seven, eight, eight years trying to build passive income to get to a point where they're literally now they can manage their overhead. I know people who spend a year really focused on online business and then they get to a point where they can manage their overhead, you know, which means their living costs. Luckily, I've been quite fortunate. I mean, I've been very clever in that I've surrounded myself with the right people. I've spent so fucking much on self education that I've sped up my process just tenfold. Um, but nonetheless, like I've been very, very blessed. Uh, as I said, it's a long, long, long game. And uh, another thing about passive income is it's very funny because if you look at the amount of hours that I've spent on the thing that puts me, brings me passive income, I, I'd probably be making less than if I was trading time for money, you know, because you spend so damn long building these systems. Uh, and then I, eventually they, you know, as I said, you reap the rewards. But if you look at all that time you spend building those systems, you're probably better off you know, working as a consultant or something or working as a coach or um, working as a lawyer or whatever, or a doctor, or whatever, like you would get a better hourly rate from them uh, than you would, uh, you know, all these passive income streams. But the thing about passive income is it is scalable. You know, as a, as a doctor, I, you know, I don't think you can make their exceptions, but you're not really going to make over whatever, like a million dollars a year as a lawyer. You're, you're not really going to make over a million dollars a year. You're, you can make a million. Um, but uh, if you're if you're working in the whole passive income game as a business, um, as an online business, you can easily do not easily, but f you can do five, ten, fifty million a year. That's very, very feasible. There's a lot of people doing it. Um, so, you know, just to conclude, it does indeed exist. It just doesn't exist in the form that it is sold to. And, uh, you know, I came out with that video uh, going, um, you know, the lies these gurus tell you. Uh, just be uh, take everything with a pinch of salt guys is, is all I can say um, You know, it's not sold in this in this in the form that you are led to believe it is uh, You know how it's sold to you right now is guys you just you know, you 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 start working on this thing uh, You know you set it up in 15 minutes, and then it's a cash cow for the next fucking three years That's not how it works. You spend a lot of time building systems you know, split testing things, deconstructing things, whether that be an online business or a real business, you know, I, I have both. Um, you find things, I've spent so long putting systems in place uh, for both my online business and my B2B marketing agency. Um, but then at one point, you know, you hit the sweet spot and then really things just get so much easier and you know, you, you can start to breathe again because you have these passive income streams or these automized uh, income streams. I would not, I'd still, I don't believe there's something known as passive income stream. I believe there are automized income streams. Passive income stream, I think, is a myth, but automized income stream is a, is a reality. And uh, it's a really cool reality. And it's a reality that I'm so blessed to be living in right now. Um, but once again, I don't want you to sit on the other side of this thing, uh, other side of the screen and think, shit, I don't, I don't, it's a reality I couldn't live in. Because as I said, the first month of this year, I made $1,000, 880 pounds, which is $1,000. Um, and a lot of that, that wasn't even like passive income. That was the trading time for money for most of it. Uh, I did a lot of content creation just because I, I wanted, I needed to make some money. Um, you know, so th it's very, very possible guys. Um, so all I would say is uh, get started, get started as soon as you can. Um, don't think it's going to be easy. Like if you want something easy, honestly, I would just say get a job. Like I talk about this all the time with my business partner. Yes, no one likes having a job, but dude, it's, you just go from nine to five, you do your shit. And then you have like another eight hours left in the day to just like smoke pot, eat McDonald's if you want, you know, and that's a life for some people. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. But honestly, if you think that you want to get into entrepreneurship because it looks like it's easy, it's not easy. It's not easy. Every day is a mental battle. Um, but damn, is it fucking fun. And when you get it right, you know, 
it, it is it is easy and it's a comfortable life um uh so yeah that's sort of my long-winded answer about passive income um hope you guys enjoyed uh if you aren't already subscribed make sure you go ahead and uh, make sure you go ahead and hit subscribe and make sure you hit that little bell because we're doing lives three times a week and that you get you get to get you get to get your answers uh your questions answered uh live in person with me entirely free come to the party three times a week make sure you hit that bell and um let me know how do you intend on making passive income in 2018 let me know in the comments and uh yeah i'll see you guys